y'all, I'm Tamara and welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you here. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell because I would love to have you back. Today, I'm going to share my massive spring haul. Um, pretty much everything that I bought over the last month and a half, six weeks or so. Um, got a lot of stuff at Target. I've got stuff from Sephora, stuff from Draper James, stuff from Ulta, but I'm going to split it into two different videos because it is way too much stuff for just one video. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show is my haul from Draper James. Draper James is Reese Witherspoon's brand. They have really cute clothes, really cute Southern style. Um, the sweats I'm wearing, it's a two piece set. So it's got the shorts and the sweatshirt. Um, these are from Draper James. It's got the Magnolia motif. That's one of her things. It's very Southern. I also have these Draper James Magnolia earrings. I bought these last fall. I will see if they're still in stock and link them below if they are. But in addition to this sweatsuit, I also picked up this really cute pink and white striped sweatshirt on clearance. Um, I don't know if this one is still available either, but if it is, I will link it. But how cute is that? I love a good oversized sweatshirt and these are really, really nice quality. So loving these. Next from Draper James, I love her masks. So this is just a really pretty pink magnolia mask and then they come with the little filters that you can actually put inside but they hold up really well. I have several that I bought last summer and um, I have been washing them and wearing them constantly. So love these. I actually just ordered two more so I'll share those when they come in. I also picked up this adorable tote bag. It says totes y'all love that so much. It is so cute. So fun. Not that I really go anywhere. I'm going to probably stay home until I get my second COVID vaccine um, in the next couple of weeks, but this is just super fun and super cute. Then I also got this really adorable heart headband. This was also on sale. Again, I'll link everything below if I can still find it in stock, but how cute is that? Love the tortoise shell, but I really love the heart motif. And then I also got these adorable heart earrings, you guys, wait till you see them. So they're little hoops and I love the look of the chain um, jewelry this season, actually the last two seasons. But how cute, the chains are actually little hearts. Adorable. So these were also on sale recently. Loving everything that I've purchased from Draper James. So I was on TikTok recently and someone was talking about Beekman and I am not familiar with Beekman skincare. I think I've heard of them in passing, but they've never really been on my radar. I've never tried anything from the brand. Didn't really think, you know, think too much of them. But this girl was talking about Beekman and I commented, oh, I'm not really familiar with the brand. And she was like, girl, they have a Rose Apothecary Schitt's Creek collaboration. So I went out to the website and <laughs> I placed an order that night, like right away. I am so easily enabled y'all. Um, but apparently this is the restock. So they already launched this line a while back. It sold out, they restocked it. So I actually picked up a set that has another tote bag, simply the best. Oh my gosh, y'all, wasn't that the best episode ever? Again, not sure what I'm gonna do with the tote bags, but it is so cute. Then it came with a Rose Apothecary Goat Milk Body Milk, y'all. It even has their logo. That is the coolest thing ever. I cannot wait to try this. And then um, it came with two bars of Rose Apothecary Goat Milk Soap. They smell really good. They smell like rose. Oh my goodness. I love these. These are like literally like what they have on the show. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I can't remember who told me about it, but thank you so much if you're watching. So thrilled. And then the last thing in the set is a tinted lip balm with goat milk and botanicals. It comes in this little cardboard tube and then inside it's a little lip balm. And, oh my God, it smells like rose also. And it's tinted, it's really pretty, love that. 
So I am super excited. I'll see if they still have them in stock and I will link them below if they do. But how fun, how fun is this, y'all? I am obsessed. So got that as well. My first purchase from Beekman. Then um, I placed an Ulta purchase. I'm really hoping that they have more gifts with purchase and 20% off coupons this year. Last year, I did get like a couple little gifts with purchase. Um, I've seen a few on the side. I just haven't really bought much. Um, but I did not get a 20% off coupon at all last year. So I'm really hoping that they amp up their coupon game this year or I will be buying more during the upcoming Sephora sale. So from Ulta, and the first thing I got was the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. I have been wanting to get this forever. It is so pretty. I'll see if it's still available. I'm getting the glare from my ring lights. Sorry about that. But it is just such a beautiful palette and I cannot wait to do some looks with that. Super excited about that. I also got the Tartlet um, Juicy palette and I already posted swatches of this on my TikTok. And um, I've played with it a little bit, but it is just beautiful. These are super sheer, super light, neutral colors. Just really, really pretty for like everyday looks. So very, very excited about that as well. Then of course, I cannot resist. I wasn't really sure about this because I gravitate toward more warm colors and golds, but people kept telling me that the Anastasia Beverly Hills Iced Out Highlighter goes on more gold than silver, even though it looks silver. But y'all, how gorgeous is that? Oh my goodness. It is absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to try that. And along with that, I also got the matching lip gloss. So this is the, I can't even read that, honey diamond? Something diamond. Anyway, it is really, really pretty. I don't know if that glitter is picking up on this camera, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. So I cannot wait to try these. I have been, like, I haven't used most of this, the Tarte palette, yes, but everything else, no. I've been kind of waiting until I can finally film. I just haven't had time. I haven't had energy. I've just been like, blah, the last couple of weeks. So so excited that I'm finally filming and then I get to use everything and play with all the makeup, play with all the skincare. So excited. I also got a KKW Beauty lip liner and this is in the shade Nude Zero. This is a replacement. I had this one previously and I have no idea where it went. So bought another one. It is a really, really pretty neutral lip liner. Works under any color lipstick. I also picked up this Nabla Ruby Lights Glitter Palette, you guys. How pretty is that? I am so excited about that. I also picked up one of these little Wet n Wild Icon Palettes. I've been really curious about these and I really want to compare them to the mini little Bite Size Elf Palettes, but this one is called Go Commando. Super pretty and very affordable. I mean, these just like the e.l.f. palette, very, very affordable. And these are maybe a little bit more, but I'll link all of this below if they're still in stock. I also picked up the Dr. Brandt Needles No More 3D Lip Plump Fix. I am really, really curious about this. So there is an AM plumping primer that you can use under your lipstick and a PM nourishing lip conditioner. I'm actually planning to get some lip injections soon. Um, I'm kind of researching my options, but my dermatologist does them and she made some recommendations. So let me know in the comments if you've had them and um, let me know about your experience. I'm a little nervous, but um, you know, when you get older, your lips just kind of thin out and I just want to be able to wear a really pretty lipstick and have a lot of fun with it. I love having fun with my makeup. So I'll keep you posted on that as well. Then I got the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Child Star. I keep hearing about this on people's Instagram and YouTube. It is a really, really pretty neutral color. It is pretty light, so we'll see. Maybe this summer when I have a little bit more of a tan, but really excited to try that. I also finally got one of the NYX Shine Loud <clears throat> Lip Duos. These are the ones that are supposed to last like forever. 
I had not been able to find it. It was sold out everywhere. Finally found it in stock online at Ulta. So I picked one up and the shade I got is Born to Hustle. I'll let y'all know if it really lasts a long time. The other thing I'm looking for is that L'Oreal powder foundation. I have looked everywhere. Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, um, online, everywhere. I cannot find it anywhere. It is out of stock totally. So I'm hoping that comes back in line soon so that I can buy one and let y'all know what I think. Then I also picked up the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I keep hearing about this. Um, hopefully it is as good as I hear. And finally, the other cult classic, the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara that I hear about all the time. So can't wait to try this and I will let y'all know what I think. So that is it for Ulta. And then the last thing that I'm going to include in this portion of the haul is Target. So <laughs> I have been to Target probably four times in the last week and I've placed two online orders. A lot of it was grocery type items, so I'm not gonna show all of that, but I did um, grab a couple of the snacks to show you because they're definitely worth it. And then I did get some clothes. I got a bunch of clothes for myself and my daughter, but I'll try to like do try-ons and stories um, outside of this video. So this is mainly beauty products, some earrings, and a little bit of snacks. So let me show you what I got. So the first thing, I actually bought these online a couple weeks ago. Um, I love Jason Wu. His Target collaboration with, um, he had some dresses and some bags, and I picked up a lot of pieces from that a couple years ago. Obsessed. His design in general is gorgeous. But he came out with a makeup line um, available on his website and also at Target, and so I could not resist getting a couple pieces. I haven't actually seen this in store, so I don't know if Target still carries it, but I'll see if it's still available online. So I got the palette and this is in Desert Rose. I'll open it up. It is just a really pretty neutral palette. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Huda Obsessions. Gorgeous. <clears throat> I also got the Honey Fluff which I think is like a liquid lipstick in the shade First Date. Isn't that a gorgeous pink? And I love the packaging. It is so minimalist, but absolutely gorgeous. Then I got two of the bullet lipsticks. They're just so pretty. Look at that. So I got the shade Biscotti. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude brown. And then the second color I picked up was Danish. So I think they're like named after breakfast foods or pastries. I think that's kind of cool. And it is just a really, really pretty. Look at that color. Beautiful. So I cannot wait to try these. I am so excited about these. Oh, and then I also got a lip liner um, in the shade Adored Stay In Line Lip Pencil very pretty. So that's it for the Jason Wu. Um, then I also got from Winky Lux, it's the Cream Blush. Look how pretty that is, you guys. It's like a little rose. And the whole packaging is just like such a gorgeous moment. I am in love. Oh, it's called Tea Time. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but the actual blush, let me take it out of the package and show y'all. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? I don't think I'm gonna actually be able to use that. It is absolutely too gorgeous. Oh my, that's beautiful. Okay, so I got that, and then I got a ton of nail polish. So <laughs> the first thing I got online were these Essie Valentine's Day nail polishes. So I got the shades Glow and Arrow and the shade Gilded Goddess. How pretty are those? Those are really, really pretty colors. And then I got a whole bunch from the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Line. They, I mean, these are just like the perfect spring colors. They looked like little Easter eggs. So I picked up several shades of that. I'll show you each one. So this one is called Once Chiffon a Time. It's just a perfect little ballet pink. This one is called Sweet Pea. It's a really pastel mint green. 
this one is Sun Shower. Oh, it's a beautiful, like a yellow color. Then we've got like an aqua giving, giving altitude. So pretty. It's like kind of a teal aqua color. And then the last one is crying out cloud and it's a beautiful lavender. And then I picked up two of the top coats to go with these. So this is step one, the color. I'm supposed to have like a gel finish. I know I've tried this before and I'm sure I have the top coats somewhere, but I'm, they may have dried up. I don't know. So I got both the um, shiny top coat as well as the matte top coat. So we'll try both of those. And then I got another Essie called In the Cabana. I think this was actually from last summer, but it's such a pretty color. Okay, and then I got two pairs of earrings from Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. These are really affordable. They're like $12.99. How cute is that? Love the hearts. And then I got another pair of hearts. And these remind me of the, um, I think it's called Murano Blown Glass um, Italian. I have a bracelet from there that I got when I was little. Um, I actually lived in Italy when I was really small. And so my mom has a lot of jewelry and this just reminds me of it. Super cute. My daughter got a similar pair of earrings, but I'm not sure where they are. And then the last thing from this haul, I got a couple snacks, y'all. I have not been able to find the Lady Gaga Oreos anywhere. Could not find them. I'm so sad about that, but you guys, I got these strawberry frosted donut Oreos and they are so good. Inside the cream has like a pink topping with glitter. So, so fun and they taste amazing. And then the other snack I wanted to show you are these Mother's Sparkling Mythical Creature Cookies. The Mother's Circus Cookie Animal Crackers or cookies are my all time Favorite cookie, I have loved them since I was a little kid. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the little pink and white with the sprinkles. But these are mythical creatures. So you've got the unicorn, you've got the mermaid, you've got the sea serpent and the dragon. They're purple and white, but they have like these purple, gray and white um, kind of glittery sprinkles on them. They taste like the regular circus animal cookies, but they are so pretty. So definitely check these out. So y'all, that is it for part one of my haul. I will try to link everything that is in stock below and please subscribe to my channel. Please turn on notifications. That way you'll know when I post part two. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.